In our top story, the nation's highest court handed down a six to three decision today upholding a ban on sleeping in public, even if homeless people have no place to go. One city leader said the ruling will make it easier to clean up the streets in Bakersfield. It's a new day as the U.S. Supreme Court upholds the ban on homeless encampments. This ruling does not add additional emergency shelter beds. This ruling does not add any additional jail beds. This ruling does not provide any mental health beds. Vice Mayor Andre Gonzalez said Bakersfield already has a rapid response team specializing in breaking up encampments. The plan is, what the plan has been, is that they continue to go out and they site the property and they go out and they uh, clean, up the, clean up the site. Friday morning, an encampment off Golden State Avenue and Q Street was cleared away. Homeless resident Adriana McPolly was forced to move. Came, announced something on the microphone and told us we had to get up and move out the spot where we were going to get arrested. They haven't came back since. McPolly has been homeless for nine years after her mom kicked her out and her dad died. I've been in and off the streets, in and off the streets. I, I love the streets. For me, it's home. McPauley said the new Supreme Court ruling doesn't make sense because she's been battling for years to sleep on the streets. It's already illegal because we get cops, highway patrol, steady arresting us no matter what we do. Even if we move to the spot they told us to move to, we still get arrested. Gonzalez said the problem is like whack-a-mole. When an encampment is broken up, it just pops back up somewhere else. He said it's the lack of jail space that's needed for the small group of resistant individuals. 82% of the individuals who were arrested last month in downtown were out within 15 hours. So you could ask the question, should we arrest people who are in encampment? My response to you is, what difference would it make if they're out on the street once again? There are more homeless than ever in Bakersfield in 2024 and Gonzalez. Gonzalez said if solving the crisis was easy, it would have already been solved. We're going to continue to drill down. We're going to continue to work on it. And we're going to continue to look for solutions for every single person who's on the street. McPauley has a voucher to stay in a studio apartment or a motel room. She chose neither. At the end of the day, I'm cool with just a box. 